you doing? This is Matt Wyszynski at the Strength Shop. I'm going to talk real quick about shoulder mobility, uh, thoracic extension, things like that. A lot of people, especially guys, do a lot of pressing. They end up getting really tight shoulders depending on your situation. You have a couple options here. Um, some of you might have seen my Bulgarian bag video I made a couple of years back. Very, very simple inner tube filled with sand or uh, pea gravel or uh, rubber mulch, something a little bit lighter. And you can make a couple different sizes here. This one here is about 25 pounds. Um, I got another one about 45 pounds. You can use it for conditioning, but basically I use this on my off days, lighter days, light workout days, just to get a lot of mobility. I'm looking to get uh, lots of mobility throughout my shoulder girdle and stability through my abs. So you will get a little bit of an ab workout, you know, a, a trunk stability exercise. Um, you can use this for a lot of different things, but right now we're just talking about shoulder mobility. Okay. So this is one simple to make tool, very cheap and, and uh, very effective and expensive. You're looking nice and smooth. Another option you got your Indian clubs. These are about two pounds, make them one pound, two pound, they make them heavier, six pounds. You can use like the war hammers and stuff like that. I'm not very good with this stuff, that's why you don't see me doing these videos, but uh, just going to bring something up that uh, might be of value to you. Um, you know, if you're doing these exercises and you're just swinging, trying to mobilize these shoulder in circles, coming back and forth this way, adding in some good two-sided movements, As you can see, my technique isn't perfect, but you gotta practice. This stuff takes a little bit of time. Start easy, don't bust your knees up, cause uh, you know, it can hurt. But you'll see Louis Simmons, <coughs> huge advocate of the Indian clubs. And his big thing, nice and simple, you just move it around. You let the weight just become a part of you and just kind of pull you around, you know, yeah, I, I just feel real sloppy on some of them. This one feels good. You can move around two different ways here. Open them up. I kind of just like to get one arm nice and easy. You can let it flow this way, go in reverse. Using your just your arm, if you can just let your arm just flow, that's great. But adding a little bit of extra weight, letting it become part of you, that added centrifugal force, will really promote much greater uh, extension to uh, your upper back and your entire shoulder girdle, uh, shoulder girdle, enhance that mobility. Another thing, a lot of people have don't have access to that. You do have easy access to a chain, really a couple bucks, get to the store, five feet or so. And it's very light, it's about six, seven pounds, about seven pounds. So it's not much weight, but those two clubs, Two pounds each, only four pounds. So I'm not using this for conditioning. I'm not. I'm just nice and easy, mobilizing my shoulders, getting ready for some big presses, prehab, rehab, whatever you need. You're going to use it for the proper application. I'm just showing you another option available to you. So here, like I said, one chain about seven pounds. Really working my shoulders around, nice and opening that stuff up nice and smooth I'm really not a smooth operator so if I can do it you can do it okay open up over this way feels great all the way through the back you probably get a lot of people say oh don't twist you're going to hurt your back I'll tell you what, if you're a wrestler or a grappler, if you're in BJJ, you're going to get twisted up. If you're in judo, someone's going to throw your ass. And if you're not used to twisting a little bit, you know, that sounds very light. Move around, mobilize your, your back, your spine, your hips. And uh, But, you know, when you're doing your halo, or around the world, you're going to pull it. now you're trying to stabilize your trunk and mobilize your shoulders. So, one chain, seven pounds. You can take several chains, wrap them up in a towel, 
and go again. It starts to become a little bit more of a challenge with a little bit more weight, of course. So you've got some mobility going on, you've got a lot of stability. You can come make a complex out of it. Lower body power. Just throw it right into a mix. Look at that. Stability, mobility, lower body power. You can work endurance, upper body, repetition effort, start cranking. It's really endless what you can do. So it's kind of a combination of using the ankle gloves with a Bulgarian bag. You don't have those. This is another option. Using one chain as a club, nice and smooth. Let that arm just flow. Of course, you could use, you know, a two pound or a five pound plate like dumbbell. This just sits real nice in your hand and just flows. You just let it go. You put on some, uh, some yoga music and you start crying to yourself and start thinking some good harmony thoughts. And then when you're done, play some Pantera and put your face to the wall. But at least your shoulders will feel a lot better and they'll thank you in the morning, regardless if your face is ugly and bleeding or not. All right? So I hope that helps. I know this isn't going to be good for everybody. I can't do that in my gym. Well, don't do it. It might not be for you, but maybe somebody will find something out of it. Good luck, good training, get strong as hell.